ABC. Yeah! At balita ko kami na mayroon silang uh, kakaibang segment na pre-prepare para lang sa Rush TV. So, Yay, tell us more about this. Um, segment namin is more on environment. Uh, Alam mo, mahilig ako dyan sa mga green na halaman. Uh, kasi, hindi, kasi, sa halaman talaga. Kasi orchids, nag, nagdadala, nagdidilig ako ng orchids tuwing umaga. So ano tungkol sa environment maasahan namin? Um, everything. Uh, kasi ngayon, di ba, um, more on yung uh, about yeah, global warming. And um, naisip namin, kasi sa generation natin ngayon, uh, hindi na masyadong aware yung mga tao about our environment. And then, uh, gusto namin i, i uh, magbigay pa ng more info and uh, iangat yung awareness ng tao. Teka, teka, pakalala mo na yung segment. Anong pangalan ba ng segment na to, bro? Uh, it's Yahoo sa Wonderland. Yahoo sa Wonderland. Shed light naman, o. Oh. Bakit yun? Of all names sa mundo. Um... Uh, Yahoo kasi, kasi, um, kasi Yahoo! gusto namin, yeah. Yahoo! Yahoo! Kasi gusto namin, Save the Earth, ano, Yahoo! Uh, masaya yung, ano, yung, yung, uh, pinapakita namin kung gano'ng kasaya, ano, kami sa, pag, pag, um, pag, 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 sa, ano, sa environment namin. And yung ma-preserve siya, at saka, yung, yung Yahoo sa Wonderland, um, si Yahoo, yung, ano, namin. Sino si Yahoo? Yahoo! Yahoo! So yun na ba yung ano lang segment niyo yung parang ano niyo pinaka signature movement Yahoo Yeah ito na ang segment ng ABC na Yahoo sa Wonderland You guys watch this This is a great morning to jog and have our exercise somewhere out of the village. My employer, Mr. Lopez, and his family are very conscious on their health, and so do I. Most of the time, they don't really know where they wanted, so I would humbly give them suggestions. Now, we'll just go where our hearts and will lead us. So, this is it. Mrs. Lopez told me to pack a box of juice, sandwiches, towels, extra clothes, sanitizers, bottles of water, in short, everything. She even told me to pack the ref inside the compartment. Oh, I just pity meddling people, like my employers. Anyway, for tonight's episode, we'll be talking about some ways to stop or minimize air pollution in our country. Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. Hi people, this is Yahoo sa Wonderland. <laughs> Unleaded full tank. Okay. Wait! Don't you have any biodiesel here? What, what about, about biodiesel? biodiesel? In fact, we do. Actually po, sir, ang lahat ng kasulitan namin ay may halong biodiesel. Biodiesel is actually cleaner than other petrodiesel. Talaga? Paano? It does not add any carbon dioxide to the environment and reduces greenhouse gases. In short, we can improve our environment surely by using biodiesel. Okay, pagkasa na yan. Mommy, I'm hungry. What? You're hungry? Stop tayo, stop tayo! Your son is hungry! Driver, stop muna tayo. Huh? Stop over? As for today's breaking news, bike lane opens at Marikina City. The Marikina government integrated cycling in its transportation system. Since the gasoline prices are unstoppably shooting up, Cycling seems to be well on its way to becoming the smart choice as mode of transport, not to mention its health benefits. Unfortunately, Marikina will have rain showers this morning. It is not advisable to bike in the rain because it's slippery when wet. For Rush News, this has been Brittany M. reporting. That's cool, but too bad. You can't go there. You know what? We have to go back. Ayoko magbasa ka ng ulan, no? Baka magkasakit ka pa. 
Sige, balik na tayo. Buti na lang di pa tayo nakakalayo. Since we will not be continuing to go to the beautiful place of Marikina City, let me show you what bike lanes look like. Well, it was quite impressive that gasolines nowadays are mixed with biodiesels. Okay yun ah! Saglit, ano ba talaga yun? Naguguluhan pa rin ako. Ano ang biodiesel para sa'yo? Ayun? Yes, yes. So tingin nyo po, paano po nakakatulong ang biodiesel? Sa, lalo na sa country natin. It's environmental kasi biodiesel. <laughs> biodiesel para sa akin ito yung bagong gas na galing sa coconut. Ah, malaki kat na tulong nun kasi hindi natin kailangan, kung may sarili tayong gasoline, hindi natin kailangan mag yun po sa ibang bansa. Kailangan talaga natin yun para, di ba, tipid nga naman sa, sa gas. Lalo na ngayon, taas ng taas ang, ang presyo ng gasolina. So, kailangan natin magtipid para din sa atin yun. Hindi ako nakakatulong na pagpulyot sa air. Sure? Paano mo nasabi yun? Bikes don't emit carbon monoxide, which means it is safe. Tignan mo, Filipinos suffer from respiratory diseases nowadays because of air pollution and carbon monoxide and CFCs. So it's safer to use bike. Ah, ganun ba yun? Pabili nga pala. Ilan po? Um, mga 3x plus 10 where x is equal to 2. Bali... 2 raised to 5 pesos po lahat-lahat. Paano pag walang bike si Manong? JP, bike lanes are now quite essential nowadays because bike is considered as fastest fat-burning program. Mahal lang gasolina ngayon, no? Oo nga. Alam mo dapat, JP, nagbabike ka na lang kasi total, malapit lang naman yung bahay natin sa school mo. I was thinking about that too. As you have seen, there are a lot of ways to lessen the pollution in our air. One of which is to use biodiesels for our vehicles instead of using a petroleum-based fuels. There are many benefits of using biodiesels. Another way is biking. The creation of bicycle lanes in designated roads would help protect the environment and reduce gasoline consumption. It will minimize the use of motorized vehicles which dump so much ozone harming and this is causing fuel emissions. Biking is an alternative way of physical exercise and an environment friendly activity which has long been promoted not only in the country but also globally. This will lessen the country's dependence on fossil fuels and save the environment, especially urban areas from further deterioration due to pollution. I hope tonight's episode gave you something to think about. Once again, this is Yahoo in Wonderland. See you next week!